you guys and welcome to a new episode. So today I'm going to be painting most of a night haunt chain rasp. Ignore the, uh, the crack there in the middle, I didn't put them together very well, but it serves for a painting tutorial. Um, so yeah, we're going to do the traditional kind of games workshop colour scheme and today's colours are just a classic black from Altalung, a snow white, then I have a Winsor & Newton yellow ochre, a cobalt blue, and they, their fancy cobalt turquoise light. This was horrifically expensive for a paint, so let's not talk about that. I feel like I need to use it a lot. <laughs> um, so yeah, let me see. So we're going to paint the chain rafts using the, the traditional scheme we see a lot on like all the games workshop art for these guys. So the fading blue. And well, considering this is oils and we want to do a blend and a fade, this should be relatively fun and easy. So we start with a size two brush. I'm going to go straight into a black. And we're going to do that over the top. So we might split this into two parts. Um, so I want to do some true metallic metals, so I'll have to do the acrylics first. So and I'll need to wait for the oils to dry for that, um, just in case I get over on the area. And I want to do a whole squad of them, so yeah, so I need to wait for them to dry. So I'll do this over two over the next two weeks. We'll get this guy painted. We will get back to the. Uh, Black Fortress dude as well. Um, I decide how I want to finish him off. I'm trying to up his level of painting. I've done, I've done him so far as well. I'll spend a bit more time going backwards and forwards in the colours I've shown previously. Because the good thing about oils is you can just keep going back and keep playing. Which also means you might never actually finish your model. But uh, let's not talk about that. <laughs> and my horrific amount of ongoing projects. Yeah, we want to make sure we've got the whole area covered. I'll just move this down. So, just getting in there. I'm using this as very, still quite thick because I don't want to lose any of the strength. Thinned it had probably gone quite quicker, but we'd get the uh, fading and such, it backed a bit more like a wash. It was not quite what I wanted. And the Abtil Long stuff is quite thin anyway. If I was maybe using the Winton, I would need to thin it a bit. We don't have to worry too much if we go over. Make sure we get. It's very easy to forget that some pieces are 3D, which just seems strange considering they're obviously 3D models. Yeah. I'm not worry about going over there. This brush has seen better days. <laughs> it really has. Just gonna make sure I get in there. Jab the brush in a few times just to get the black on the in the middle. So obviously we want to be doing that chain and stuff, but considering we have to do this, we'll let the, the oil dry before doing the metallics. This will solve the inside for us. I mean obviously you could have pre-built these, like um, part built them, painted them in, in sections, get that in there. That might have uh, made it a bit easier, but it's fine, I built these a while ago. Right. This is right now. 
clean off the brush. And I don't do this very often on these, but I want to grab some of the the black and some of our blue and make kind of like a a dark blue. A very dark, almost black. And I want this, first of all, going around that area. Like around that top area. It's a bit thicker than I I wanted, but this is gonna be fine. I'm gonna be using this mix a bit more as well later on. Right, right next step. Got my next color down. blue, grab a chunk of that, and some of our turquoise, get that nice mid mid blue tone, do that going down, don't worry too much if you go over, like into the black, it'll start to blend for you, it's not, not a horrible thing to happen. This will start the start of our fade. Just jab that around a bit. And then into our lovely turquoise. So as you can see, I'm using my classic palette. Just cardboard with a bit of parchment paper. Nothing fancy. inside as well. I'm going to bring this down quite far. That's kind of our main colour. Then we need to grab our white and just kind of aim for those bottom sections. Then, so there we go. Not looking fantastic at the moment, but you can kind of see where this is going to go. And wrap. So, this is a size 4 flathead brush, so filbert brush. And I kind of want to start at this section. I kind of want to bring the turquoise, start blending it down into that white towards the tips. Occasionally just dusting it off. You can just see. So I might shove up a picture of the the GW models so you can see what I'm aiming for. Might put a bit more turquoise in there later. So now, now we want to blend. I'm going turquoise is my mid colour, so I'm using that as the point to brush from. I keep saying whichever direction you brush from is your stronger blend colour. So if you go from the darker colour down, it'll put the darker colour further down. If you go from the lighter colour up, the lighter colour will cover more area. Now we're just making sure everything blends all over the place. We will come back in soon and start working lighter colours in to these areas. Just getting that initial movement of colour is important. So, let's 
far from perfect yet. So I want the turquoise going further up. So I'm going to grab more of that. And just hit up these areas. I'm going to push it further. Put some back in there. And there. So we lost some of it. Some of its intensity. blending brush again. Start bringing that up. So I'm actually going to drag everything down. We're going to start adding white back in I think. Of we're trying to get an effect, we just need to play around with it, blending the colours backwards and forwards until we're happy with the result. We'll obviously then later define the cloth edges and stuff like that. highlight. I want to just drop a couple of pieces of white around just as a to build up those initial hints. Those lighter areas. I might clean my blend brush. Make sure your blend brush you want to be as dry as possible. So if you do clean the colour off, make sure you then properly dry it. you can see how lovely and easy that is to blend just go around it make sure everything's blended how you want it and where you want whatever it was wrong just keep blending it until it goes away so there we go now we've got a lovely fade and we'll grab a slightly smaller brush this is a number one, just generic craft brush. What I want is into some of the shadowed areas, so into some of the recesses. I'm going to change my brush. There it is. 
even smaller brush. So this, we just gently dab into some of the recesses. should be slightly darker obviously these are ghosty so you can you can make them as weird colored as you want then using the small brush again we'll just grab some of the white and using the edge just start catching the edges everything start to pop remember doing this is a little bit more difficult than say using acrylics doing the edge highlighting because obviously oils love to blend so if you do if you're really patient you could wait for it to all dry to do the edge highlighting and then it's a less blendy technical term that So that gives us our blendy effect going up. Obviously we want to look at the black cloth as well. So we're going to keep, keep with our white and just kind of hit that again on high points using a small brush and edges. So this first pass we don't need to be too over the top neat with. I will fix that random hole obviously later on. such they don't like. Black is one of the, the banes of my colour choices. But I'm perfectly fine with yellow. Black. Always causes me an issue. Let's sort of drop a bit into the middle sections. we built we want to blend out from those edges a 
ignoring the inside recesses if possible. Don't panic too much if you do end up going into one. This will help us create the, the illusion of shadows and such in, in our black colours. We'll get that slightly darker grey. small brush or clean this one and then you can just grab some of it and blend it out thinner. You can use this to neaten up the like square off the edges and such as well. Like here. So, there we go, our 
a GW style chain rasp, the clone, cloak and such has done. Like I said, we will be going back in, in another episode. I want to hit the metallics with a metallic color first. But we'll finish them off with oils. I just need this to dry so I can get into the places. And then um, we can do the oils and rust and stuff like that for the top of it. We'll finish with the hands and the skull and such as well. But I hope you saw how easy that was to kind of get that, that effect that they have to go in. I've never, I don't think I've ever looked up how they do it, but um, yeah, you saw how super easy it was to get that blade fade from the white to the almost black and the black cloth on the top was pretty simple as well. That's uh, quite quick and effective. I know we spent 25 minutes doing that one. Um, but if you're doing that across the whole unit, I reckon you can do the whole lot, get to the stage in a couple of hours if need be maybe quicker once you get more practice at it and as always if you enjoyed that please don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe and see you again soon